Everything we see around us, all of our experience is telling us that we're operating Earth above the red line. And the science is just becoming compelling with respect to the climate, with respect to our use of water, with respect to our reliances on ecosystems. It's all more than the Earth can sustain. We're the generation who are faced with this task and who have the technology to make the changes. So it's urgent for us to respond to that task. We're now faced with the historic opportunity to make the switch to a clean energy economy. The public call for this more hopeful future is louder than ever before. WRI works at the intersection of environment and human needs, and all of our work involves both environment and people. Around the world, WRI transforms ideas into action. Embark is the WRI Center for Sustainable Transportation, and Embark is also a network of centers for sustainable transport that we've set up in countries around the world designed to catalyze solutions to transportation-related problems in major cities. Sometime in the last few years, the number of people living in cities began to exceed the number of people living in rural areas. Most of those people are living in enormous, rapidly growing, unplanned cities where one of the major determinants of both quality of life and levels of pollution are the transportation systems. Embark is designed specifically to address that problem. Right now we have centers for sustainable transport in Mexico and Brazil, India, Turkey and the Andes. By introducing sustainable urban transport systems in places like Arequipa or Mexico City, we engage policymakers, stakeholders in the whole community to help create more livable conditions. Our projects aim to reduce CO2 emissions, get people to walk faster, improve air quality and road safety. There is an enormous urgency in Indonesia on stopping deforestation. There is almost two million acres a year of primary forest disappearing in Indonesia. There has been a global effort to find ways to reduce our reliance on fossil fuels. That pressure led to an acceleration of the expansion of oil palm plantations in Indonesia. Unfortunately, significant amounts of the oil palm development in Indonesia has taken place at the expense of old growth forests. Indonesia is the third biggest greenhouse gas emitter in the world, so deforestation is a big problem. But of course Indonesia is a developing country, you want that country to develop, so you have to think about solutions that keep on making money for the people and the government of Indonesia, while on the other hand stop deforestation. There's a lot of already degraded deforested land that would be perfectly adequate for the creation of oil palm plantations. So POTICO stands for palm oil, timber and carbon offsets. POTICO is an effort to find ways to move large oil palm developers out of the forest and onto the degraded lands. WRI understands how the environmental challenges we face today are going to shape the markets of tomorrow. That's why they've been so successful at helping business and investors take action to solve the climate crisis. The U.S. Climate Action Partnership is an innovative partnership that we helped launch over three years ago. It's a group of companies and NGOs working together to try and find and build support for an approach to climate protection that will work in the United States. We're not asking Congress and the United States to just cut emissions. We're also providing an enormous economic opportunity and growth by changing the way we use energy in this country in a way that will both protect the planet but also grow the United States and its economy. And we put out a blueprint for legislative action which provided some of the very basic foundations and the middle ground in the political process to advance the Waxman-Markey bill and to launch the congressional conversations we're having today. U.S. CAP created a political willingness. We were a catalyst for change. It is extremely important to work in China, first of all because now China is the largest producer of greenhouse gas emissions in the world. Here's the most rapidly expanding economy in the world. The demand for its markets, the pollution created by its factories are all extraordinarily important, not only in the lives of people who live in China, but in the future of the world. The value that WI brings to China is threefold. First, is the independence and the rigor of our research. 
Second is the practical tools and solutions WI provide. Third is WI can be a bridge to promote the mutual understanding between China and the U.S. That's, that's our sweet spot. What we aspire to do in China is to create a Chinese model of WRI, to create a source of independent ideas and analysis, but one that is entirely Chinese. And we're finding a great openness to that concept. If we're going to solve this planetary crisis, and we must, we need all hands on deck. WRI advances ideas that are rooted in sound analysis, not ideology. It's one of the only organizations I know that can bring together the left and the right, the north and the south, public and private. In doing so, they expand the boundaries of what's possible.